project is one of the projects in the European Commission with the focus on future plant free applications. The objective is to explore how cooperative robots work together in setting up a future lunar base or an outpost. This includes assembling large modules from landers for in-situ resource utilization and construction of habitats. Cooperative exploration. Different robots will survey the lunar environment together. Veles is a wheeled mobile manipulator and cooperates with Mantis, the legged robot. Terrain preparation. Grading the lunar terrain and shoveling regolith is required for future construction operations. Veles is capable of recognizing unstructured terrain and flattening it with its grading blade. Detection. Robots will detect and track objects for assembly using their sensors. Mantis navigates using the map to approach and grasp the detected mock-up and move it to another location using one of its arms while walking on five legs. Here, both robots approach the actual lander mock-up containing multiple modules. Cooperative manipulation. Assembling modules requires both robots to cooperate and move large and heavy objects to another location. Two robotic arms form a closed kinematic chain while manipulating an object. Velez uses its gripper to move objects. For excavation tasks, it can quickly be changed to a shovel using the hot dog common interface. Assembly and construction. Another member of the robotic team is the mobile gantry. It can be deployed with the help of other robots on uneven terrain. It's actuated by cables and can 3D print or move objects. The gantry can deploy itself on flat terrain. Its end effector can grasp and move heavy objects. Finally, it can fold into a compact configuration. Testing in a pandemic was kind of challenging and we have to put a lot of things into work, like the communications, VPN, cameras, people on site with the robots to help us. It was really challenging, but also rewarding. And in the end, we managed to accomplish a lot of the things we wanted to do. ProAct will bring us one step closer to the first human settlement on the moon.